In this video, I am going to give you an overview, scripting Brew software. In addition to all the things that we can do with Brew, we can also create scripts to run some operations. With the style of broccoli scripts, you can drag and drop objects to the screen. Build your own script with Brew. There are two kinds of scripts. First one is global scripts. As its name, it runs independently which screen page is displayed. Second one is local scripts. It is local because it will run as long as we are on the specific page. For example, screen 1 and script, as long as we are on the screen 1 the script behind the script will be executed. The difference between local and global scripts as you can see on global scripts, we can insert some blocks. But some blocks are only specific to local scripts. For the local scripts, as you can see, there is no disallowed objects. We can drag and drop all the script objects to the screen. Let me explain one by one each block that we have on the tool chest for the scripting. First one, triggers. Orange one. Periodic. Touch triggers that will execute the operations each defined cycle. Second one, operations, light brown one. It is executing the defined function. For example, value change. Expo data log. Third one, values, blue. Values refer to value of the specific property. It can be a constant value, or any variable that we defined in our project. Or a screen object. Logics that we are very familiar. If we have any conditional comparisons, or if, if else logics. Last one is the expression that returns the result of any expression, for example, sine cosine or ABS value. Let me show you a simple example for screen object. I will increase the value of variable by one every second. Here I am on the screen. And I just clicked on the script part. And I go to tool chest. and I placed a periodic operation periodic trigger, which operates every second. And then we placed a value change, because we will change the value of the variable every second. I also choose that to inside of value change operation. I will increase the value for every second. And then I put variable and choose the variable from the list which I already created. Finally, I will put constant block. Just to increase variable by one every second. So, let's similar to see very quickly to see. As you can see every second it increase by one.